Okay. Joel, we're live. Hey, everybody. Hey, Hi, Joel. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I am so excited about this, this content today because I need to get my travel card situation in order. Today is the day for me to yeah. learn. So, And this is, this is the number one question by probably triple that we get, you know, like what card should we get? This is a and question I ask myself every day. What am I doing? You know, <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, you, me you, I mentioned, you mentioned a card you had earlier. Let's not throw any individual brands under the bus, but. Oh, I'll throw them under the bus. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> needs to know about this. <laughs> All right, well, listen, if you're just tuning in, welcome. It is Monday. This is the day that Joel and I get together and here in Jay Goot Village, and we chat about all things travel. Jegu Village and Jegu is the place, which means just get out of town. That's the place where travelers can travel in first class and business class at the cost of coach. Right, Joel? That's right. I, That's what we do. I cannot even. Oh, so excited to see you all. Real quick, I'm going to throw this out there. If you are watching on Facebook, if you could, and you'd like to see your name and your face, if you could go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook and you can get permission and then we can see your name and your face. Today's kind of exciting though, Joel. We are, we're live streaming over on YouTube, aren't we? We are, yeah. So yeah, we're in YouTube and our Facebook page. So we've got mm -hmm. our private group and our public page. So we're all over the place. I'm just gonna do this. We're, we're dipping our toe slowly into different places so that we can get the word out there as well. So like I said, I'm Mia Voss. I just show up and host this and I show up as the comic entertainment and you are the founder of Jay Goot. Tell us about that. Oh man. So um, yeah, I started Jay Goot for over four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, January of whatever four years ago it is. Um, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> count the one, carry the one. There we go. <laughs> <Math>. <laughs> Hi, Cezanne. Yeah. And I, um, yeah, I mean, I started it. Well, 2017. We, we talked about that story and um, you know, like it was just, uh, I went through a divorce. I didn't want to, um, you know, take travel away from the kids, but budget didn't really allow it. So I had to figure out how to do it on a budget. Um, and it, it worked so well. Um, you know, I had some different strategies and I was constantly being approached by friends saying, gosh, I wish I could travel like you. And so I kind of just started this unofficial blog to efficiently share the deals that I was finding because they were just too good not to pass up and then turned into a business. Um, so glad you did. Yeah. Sharing is caring on that, which really makes sense. I mean, that doesn't take away from you to share that information. It just makes more people happy. They can do that too. So let's hey, say hey to some people. So if you have, are here for the first time, you need to know that the more you comment and make even cut, type in interested, we'll have some information on that. You're going to get entered into our contest. Look at that. What do you have, Joel? A $100 travel savings card. Uh, yes. This is... Uh, this will knock 100 bucks off of hotels, car rentals, um, excursions. Mm -hmm. In fact, we just booked, we were going to do Belize and we last minute changed to Costa Rica. And we just finalized that deal this morning. And we're going to use this towards all of the crazy excursions that we're doing. So, yes. So yeah. we, you have to, uh, I mean, you don't have to be present to win. Hi, Sarah. Good to see you. Wendy, Katisha. We have some great people from Charlotte. Good to see everybody. Lisa is here from Dickinson, Texas. So, uh, what we're going to do at the end of this broadcast is we will, uh, have this root with this fun little random number generator. We'll take the number of comments and then we're going to choose one person and we will let you know. Correct. That's right. Yes, I love it. Okay, Matt. You know what? Matt's here. He's ready for this. We hey, said, Matt. Hey. Matt's a JGU lounger. <laughs> nice. Hey, let's talk real quick before we dive in. Right now, we're in the village, and the village has a ton of people. Talk real quick about the difference between JGU Lounge and JGU Village, and then we're going to have a link. We have a, we're trying out something new today if you're interested in the lounge. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, so the, the difference between the two is much like the difference between a gym membership and uh, hiring a personal trainer. So Jegu Village is where, you know, we teach tips and tricks and have videos like this where we just teach you stuff to go do that will save you money on travel. And if that works for you, if that resonates with you, 
then we also have a paid coaching service called Jigu Lounge for members only that helps you take that to the next level. Um, so uh, you're welcome to, to hang out in the village and check out these videos. We've got a ton of stuff in the guides section for you to, to check out at your leisure. Um, we've got videos about uh, some of our graduates who, who have booked trips around the world for hundreds of dollars in business class um, and all sorts of other case studies and tips and tricks. So uh, yeah, that's in the guide section of JU Village. And then of course, when you're, you've decided that uh, you'd like a little more help to take your travel to the next level, if you don't feel like you're saving as much as you could, if you're sitting on a ton of points and you mm -hmm. don't think that you're getting maximum value out of those, instead of a penny a piece, we'll show you how to get five, 10, 20, 25 cents per point that you're mm -hmm. sitting on. And yes. that can go a long way. And that's some of yeah. what we're gonna talk about today. We are. And with that in mind, also in the guides, we have a video from, I believe it was two weeks ago, Stan Amira was here as our guest. And if you want to get encouraged and really wound up about travel and how to learn to travel in the lounge, go watch that video, right? I mean, she just, she just booked mm -hmm. her around the world trip and she talks some really practical applications in that video. Yeah. It's all yeah. stuff you can take and apply yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, this isn't about um, big complicated algorithms. It's just common sense tips that mm -hmm. um, when you kind of put them together into a strategy work really, really well. Uh, and Thank instead you. of say, you know, cobbling together a few tips and tricks to save 20 or 30%, you can save 80 or 90% on a consistent basis. I love how she has these handwritten notes and she has the receipts people. She definitely has the receipts. And then also just so you know, we have this show on Mondays. You go live twice a week as well. You had a really great one from Vegas uh, this mm -hmm. past Thursday. Talk about that. And then we're going to dive into the topic. Yeah. So um, Andy, one of our experts, we've got uh, six experts inside Jagoot Lounge and Andy is one of them. Uh, he travels. I So I'm kind of a, a family guy. Half mm -hmm. the time I travel on cheap coach fares around the 48 states. Uh, half the time I fly in first class. Half the time mm -hmm. those are cash. Sometimes they're, half the time those are points. Well, Andy almost exclusively flies on points. And he, oh, he takes fancy. the points game to a whole nother level. Whole nother level. Never. He does. He's he is super fancy. Cezanne is saying what we all feel. Stan Amira was incredible. We want to be like her. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, also with Andy as well. So we have a lot of people that are walking the talk here in the group, which is fantastic. So once again, a few calls to action. If you are interested in the lounge, we are trying out something new, which is just go to wait. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, gosh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, go to jgoot.com forward slash call. So you can go ahead and check that out. And then one of our team members will get in touch with you. All right, here we go. Look it, enough romancing. Let's get into this. Joel. All right. So, yeah, yeah I mean, this topic comes up all the time. Um, and we get asked in, in the village, what's the best card for me? And we have links that we send people to. But I just thought it was time to kind of do a refresher on this topic because right now, um, the two cards that we're going to talk about are giving the biggest bonuses either of those cards have given in the history of their company. Um, and either one of those cards carry bigger sign up bonuses that are more valuable than 80 or 90% of the other bank cards out there. Um, and what's, what kind of spurred this topic was uh, going to dinner and, and talking with some friends who, uh, you know, earn points the old fashioned way. Two cents, like they, they thought it was a good deal that they were getting two points for every dollar that they spent. And on the surface, that sounds good. But as we'll kind of talk about in these future slides, it's, it's not that great at all. Um, right. And these two cards we're going to talk about, you probably, it won't, won't be a huge surprise, but we're going to dive deep into why they're so much more valuable. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll kind of show you how you can go find those bonuses for yourself and so on. 
So real quick, I'm not sure who this is. We feel you. You find this so complicated to navigate the best credit card games. We feel you. There is mm -hmm. some strategy to it as well, but we're going to talk about that too. We have some great questions in here. We may not be able to get to all of the questions, but please keep popping them in there. And uh, we're going to focus on the travel cards today, but pop that in there and either one of us will get an answer to you, but we're going to try and do our best today, right? Absolutely. Right. And we have, we have specialists standing by, by the way. So, uh, and, and somebody was asking also for the link for Stan and Mira. Um, we will post that in there. Uh, one of us will post that in there shortly. Gil's here from Dallas, Fort Worth. Good to see you as well. So, okay, here we go. Ah, Bring Gil it. is also one of our loungers. So, and so you can go find it in Jagut Village along with mm -hmm. plenty of other videos. Mm -hmm. We happen to have uh, both Stan and Mira and Gil. Uh, here right on now. That on that link there at jayute.com forward slash call. Um, so after this call, you can kind of go there, watch those videos at your leisure, and then see if what we offer is of interest to you. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and talk about these. Um, based on that last comment, uh, yeah, I find this so complicated to navigate the, the best credit card games. And that's the whole point of this. In fact, at the end, I'm, you know, I'll basically just say, look, don't overcomplicate this. The hardest mm -hmm. part is the first step. And um, either of these cards uh, are excellent choices that will get you 10 or 20 or 50 times more than the traditional <laughs> Bank of America card or the, the City card or the, the Wells Fargo, the, the common bank cards that typically only get a penny per point and are limited to a penny per point. Um, that's me, by redemption. the way, asking, I can't even say asking for a friend. <laughs> That's me, <laughs> is Wells Fargo and then the other travel card. And I will reveal, yeah. I just want to let you know, I have no problem. <laughs> well, and I, you know, before we go into this, I want to say that that was me too. I had, okay. I, I've had a Frontier card since I graduated college, which is longer ago than I'd like to admit. But, mm -hmm. um, and, and I loved it because you know my first business i spent a lot of money on advertising and they paid two points per dollar and uh i spent a lot of money so i racked up a lot of points um but it was a really inefficient way to do it the only way to do that was to literally spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on advertising um and earn them a penny at a time uh, yeah. i sold that business and then years later after my divorce after I, you know i was on a tighter budget i learned that uh, it can be five, 10, 20 times better uh, when you know a couple simple rules. So um, first thing I did was went and got one of these cards and uh, went to Hawaii for $22, like three months later. Dude. Just by choosing the right card. I know it. If, if I did that with my old Frontier card, um, if Frontier flew to Hawaii, which they don't, uh, or didn't at the time for sure, uh, you know, that would have taken 10 times as many uh, mm. dollars spent to earn enough points for that flight. But by just choosing the right card and learning how to use it, went to Hawaii for $22, two tickets, round trip for 22 bucks. So, so that's the that's the thing too. Going back to this comment, and I wish we knew who who it was. Um, that's the complicated part is when you do get into not, and you get on this treadmill of like, okay, I'm, I, you end, almost end up spending money that you shouldn't because you think you're trying to get these points, right? So mm -hmm. that's that's a that's a pretty tough um, pattern you can get into. Yeah. Yeah, and that's right. that's kind of why we did we started this as a course. We tried for years to write blog posts and and share and so on, but we couldn't keep up with all of the questions. And here's the thing: after these first two cards, it does get a bit more comfortable or a, a bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. But the the idea is you get your feet wet with like five or ten thousand dollars worth of points. You play around with those, and and then you can build on that later if you decide you like this hobby. Um, so let's, it's let's talk about these two. Um, yeah. Again, yeah. no big surprise. I recommend these all the time, but I've gone and kind of gone deeper to talk about why that is. Um, no longer need the reminder to pick up my kids. So we'll get there. In case anybody so, was worried. Mystery, <laughs> the big mystery, not the picking first, up his kids. <laughs> the first card, uh, is the American Express Platinum card. 
Um, right now, we don't know how much longer this bonus is going to last, but uh, they're offering between 60 and 125,000 points, depending on your eligibility. Um, they call them targeted offers. And uh, it really doesn't matter because the better part of the bonus isn't even the sign-up bonus. So even if you only get 60,000 points, um, we'll go into why those are infinitely more valuable than even 100,000 Bank of America points or 100,000 Wells Fargo or even 100,000 Capital One points. Um, and we'll, we'll get into that. Okay. The other card, no surprise, I recommend this all the time, uh, is the Chase Sapphire. Um, and notice, I said that the sign-up bonus alone and the, and the initial six-month period alone can be valued as much as $50,000 for the points that you get. And we'll kind of go into how and why that is. Uh, wow. And then a, a cl close second uh, is Chase Sapphire. After this, everything falls off and you know, you're typically talking uh, max four or five thousand dollars in value. And that's only if you're an advanced user and really, really know what you're doing. Um, but these two cards are very simple to use once you kind of get your feet wet and get familiar with where you should spend those points and so on. And either one, I mean, I'll tell you right now, you could quit, go to jgoot.com slash cards, pick one of those two cards and be off to a great start. And by the um, way, that link is scrolling right there at the bottom, y'all. If you want to just jump to the conclusion and start checking those out, I have that link right there, jgoot.com forward slash cards. Quick question for you, Joel, with those recommendations. Are those links for some of our members, by the way? Like some of the yes. card recommendations? I'm going to I'm gonna jump in a little bit, but I love that. I love that part. So yeah, full disclosure, those are referral links. And we're not on commission, but all we have six experts inside the lounge, um, many who volunteer their time because they're passionate about sharing this knowledge mm -hmm. of not wasting money on travel mm -hmm. and being able to travel like them. And so uh, one thing we try to do for them is get them referral points because you can actually, as once you get well-versed at using points, you can do a lot more with 50 or 20, 15 or 20,000 uh, referral points than 150 or $200. Um, so that's kind of just something we do to, to share the wealth with our experts. You see them in the, in the village, um, mm -hmm. Thomas, Mira, Kira, um, mm -hmm. even Gil. Gil is one of our graduates and he goes back in the village and gives, shares knowledge. Um, the beautiful thing is once, uh, people kind of graduate our 12 week program, technically they have all the tools they need and they can mm -hmm. go out and find free flights for themselves. And they start jumping in and helping other people out. I saw several people do it just this morning with someone who had a last minute flight. So, I saw that. I saw that. That was that was fantastic. A couple of things real quick. Brian, we're going to get to this question. Two years ago, I canceled my United card and got a Southwest and I realized it dinged my credit. Heard you mention that you let your cards expire. Joel, I know you're going to you're going to cover that too, right? As far as cards. Yeah. Yeah. If we have time, we'll, we'll get yes. into some, a couple well, other best practices. Yes. we And what we I, have that. Oh, go ahead. What I'd really like to do is just get into this meat and potatoes because yes, please. the biggest thing that I see and the biggest thing that I did, you know, I was, I was stuck with that frontier card forever earning two points per dollar. And as soon as I just went and got a Sapphire card and learned how to use it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, it w it was night and day difference. Totally like I said, different game changer. Three right? years worth of normal spend on Frontier might have gotten me a tr trip to Hawaii. Yes, I'm gonna uh, say Some Zon, months of activity got me to Hawaii. Right, Cezanne got an Amex Platinum card and already have over 125,000 miles headed to French Polynesia. Girl, okay. can't wait to visit the Centurion Lounge. Also, recently got Sapphire Preferred and just earned 80,000 on that. So that's the examples of things that that we're talking mm -hmm. about. So that's amazing. Yeah. So she, right out of the gate, she's got 200,000 points, and we'll we'll get into what those can be worth. Okay. Um, so that's it. No big secret. You can pick one or the other of those. Don't beat yourself up over everything else. Everything else is either not nearly as valuable or far more complicated 
to ferret out the good deals. Um, so uh, diving a little deeper into uh, American Express. I actually should have changed that. Technically, it's 60 to 125,000 point sign up bonus. Um, mm -hmm. And that's just for signing up for their card and trying it, spending at least $5,000 on their card in three months. So as long as you spend, what is that? Uh, $1,600 a month, 1666 a month, you would earn 70 or 60 to 125,000 points just for that. Mm -hmm. And the reason all credit card companies do this is because they know that most people think, oh, this is such a pain. I don't want to switch credit cards. And they know that once they get you, you'll never do that again because most people hate the idea of switching credit cards. But when you see what you can do with those points, heck, it's worth 20 minutes of your time to fill out the application. And that's generous. I have an interview with my mother-in-law who took five minutes to get 80,000 points. Wow. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's, I don't care how wealthy you are. That's a very good use of your time to get sure. that many points for five or 10 minutes of work. Mm -hmm. The cooler part is no matter how many points you're eligible for when you get the card is that they currently have a promotion of uh, up to 150,000 points for buying gas and groceries on that card. Wow. That's it. Just start swiping your platinum card when you get it at the gas station and the grocery store. And you get 10 points per dollar spent. So uh, my wife and I actually just came, you know, kind of came out of a three-year hiatus. We haven't gotten a new card in three years. I already had the platinum. Love it for plenty of perks like this. Um, and we signed her up. So we, we each have a $550 a year platinum card and it's worth every single penny mm -hmm. um because and that's the 550 and fifty dollar annual fee is that right uh correct okay correct so um yeah so you get the sixty thousand to one hundred twenty five thousand sign up bonus once you spend five grand however you like uh whether it's swiping it at the grocery store or um paying bills or you know switching over switching your netflix and uh amazon accounts mm -hmm. over to that card or whatever uh, and then the 150,000, I mean, you, you gotta be a little aggressive on gas and groceries, but you can get a little creative. We won't go down that path because that's not what we're encouraging. We're just saying, just switch that card out for gas and groceries because 10 points per dollar is massive. Wow, that's amazing. Es especially when you consider that's earning multipliers. So if you, instead of getting a penny per, or a, you know, a, a point per dollar, you get 10 points per dollar. And then you take those points and learn how where to redeem them for five to twenty five cents per point. That's compound interest. Uh, oh, um, Einstein said compound interest most powerful tool in the world. I don't think that's far off with this because you get to multiply your earning points uh, uh, on top of your redemption points, and that can be really really powerful. I saw Lincoln in actually quoted on the internet. I'm just kidding. At <laughs> least <laughs> people say that. I saw that as a quote. We have a lot of questions going on, y'all. So just keep an eye out because I can see everybody answering each other as well. Plus, some of these uh, answers may change. So we are, Joel, we'll, we'll pick some questions at the end for sure. Cool. And Costco yeah. doesn't accept Amex. That's right. I just found that out the hard way the other day. Yeah. Folks, so. Costco doesn't accept it. And um, like there are a couple caveats. You can't use them, use uh, super stores like Target, Costco, Sam's Club. Those don't count towards that gas and grocery bonus. But again, we're on pace uh, for mm -hmm. uh, about an extra 80 or 90,000. I don't think we're going to get the full 150,000, but mm -hmm. still um, triple the value of most other cards. It is. And I'm going to throw this out just because this is this is just today. So forgive me for this, Joel. But if anybody does have Amex, um, Rakuten has 15% back mm -hmm. and it's usually 2 to 3% back, but it ends today. I went to Dell and got myself a new computer, folks. Feeling pretty fancy about that. So 15, it's paying it, 15 yeah. cents back. You got? 15, no, 15% 15 15 of cash back. 
So, but you can, if you have the right Amex, which I don't, uh, you can actually translate that into there too. So I'm halfway there in this. I'm sitting in that frustration of it, but it's paying attention to things like that here in the mm -hmm. village and then also in the lounge. And another shameless plug, if you're interested in Rakuten, go to that jgoot.com slash cards. We have a link to that. So all of those links aren't all of the cards out there. They're just the cards that our experts use. So if you read That's between right. the lines on that, any of those cards are pretty much an implied endorsement because they're yes. only, we only recommend cards that, are, uh, that our experts use themselves. So, um, and Rakuten is one of them. Um, Kira, our, our shopping expert, uh, mm -hmm. did a whole a series on how to use Rakuten and get, uh, I just was eyeing, I'm going on a keto diet, 50 points per dollars per, per dollar back. So 50% rebate, but not 50% off 50% points. That's massive. That is on, on what's the keto. What is it? A, is a keto it a diet. I mean, it's just like, um, no, you know, I mean, it's like at Rakuten. So you can, you can oh, get something at, yeah. Um, I don't remember it. I just, you just search keto and it's got okay. three or four different meal plan. I, by the way, I love that website too. So y'all, that's this is what we're talking about too. Everybody has their different things that are favorites. We also have a, a Southwest expert. We have all different types of experts that are here and in the lounge too. So, all right. So we have a lot of, lot of comments popping up, but I see everybody is answering each other. So what else do you have? Um, let's see. So, well, before, before we do that, let's just clarify. Mm -hmm. We just talked about the two most important parts. So yeah. you have earning multipliers, Rakuten, yes. that's an earning multiplier. Instead right. of a boring one or 2% back, you get 15 or 45 or 50% back. That's yeah. getting to your travel goals. That's, that's earning a free flight 15 to 45 to 50 times faster than at a penny per point. Like that alone yeah. is so profoundly powerful. And there are only certain cards that you can do that with. So, and Amex is one of them. Um, so those are earning multipliers. Sign up bonuses, that's an earning multiplier. You spend $5,000, you get 75 to 125,000 points. It's a pretty big multiplier. It is. And then we're not really gonna get into redemption multipliers because that's a whole different complicated topic, but you can take those multiplied points and multiply them again by learning not to ever redeem them for only a penny a piece. Never redeem your points for a penny a piece. That's throwing money away. It's definitely a small spend mindset when you when you get into that. Uh, so that's that's one a lot of the things that I've learned is is to make sure to to switch that up because then a lot of times you'll say, oh I oh I can get it. We talk about this a free iPad or something free that you yeah. could have just gotten you could have gotten on Overstock stock.com or something instead of spending that. Um, by the way, Elizabeth, uh, they did post the links in here for Rakuten. And then again, if you go to jgoot.com forward slash cards, uh, that will uh, should also have links for Rakuten as well, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and we've got okay. several, several, of our, several of our members who use Rakuten and they'll get a few extra points. And actually you get more points by using that link. Rakuten actually gives you uh, $40 in, or that, that would be 4,000 points just for using the referral link where you only, would only get 1,000 points or uh, 10,000 points uh, if you just signed up on your own. So, Gotcha. Thank you. Um, let's see. We're half hour in. Uh, I, yeah. I better pick up speed. So <laughs> Centurion Lounge, Priority Pass, free food, free booze, kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, we, we once chose an air, we had a choice between laying over in Charlotte or Miami. Charlotte had a Centurion lounge. Miami didn't. We laid over in Charlotte. Free massages, free manis, free petties, um, free food, free booze, mm -hmm. way less crowded than the airport itself. Quiet. We just went last week when we, when we went to Vegas and, uh, and it was like a library and the, the mm. airport was a zoo. So. Wow. Um, and and what a included. nice break for, for traveling right now. Hey, uh, Brooke, I know you're on here. It looks like the link for the Amex referral is not working at uh, jgoot.com. So if we can, we'll pop that in here and okay. um, we'll come back and give you another link too, just to make sure that's working. And that what a great point too, Joel, to, to say, to check out where you are having a layover 
too. You get into this mindset that the the Jegu way you mm -hmm. really once you, it, it, yes, it feels a little wobbly at first, right? Because you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much to think about. But once you get into that mindset and you start traveling a lot more, which sounds like a million miles away right now, but um, it's picking back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Oh, and so when I say the $550 a year is covered, uh, the Amex has over 750 in free credits. You get 200 back uh, on an airline of your choice, as, as long as you use the card to pay for that airline. You get 200 in Uber credits. You get, um, I gosh, I'm not, I'm not thinking of all the credits, but there are over $750 in actual credits. Mm -hmm. You can go to Home Depot, spend 50 bucks, and they'll pay for it. You can go to um, Saks, spend 50 bucks. I bought flip flops last week, spent mm -hmm. $50, got reimbursed, and picked up 750 points. So, uh, amazing. I didn't spend any money and got 750 points. Mm -hmm. Those add up. Yeah. Um, Exponential is the word that, that applies to so much of this here. Uh, so the cons 550, but again, that's more of, that's more of a red herring to keep uh, the people who don't read the fine print away. Mm. Uh, they'd rather have the people who do read the fine print because they tend to spend more money. Um, so, uh, and I will say that this and the Sapphire card are both higher than any one of us in the industry have seen. So, Pick one and go with it. Uh, Sapphire preferred smaller bonus, 80,000 sign up bonus. However, if you're new to this game, this might be a more comfortable option for you. Okay. So um, there are two different types of transfer partners, the easy ones and the complicated ones. There's first level and then there's second level. I'm not even gonna get into second level because it will melt your brain. <laughs> um, but the, the easy stuff is, Amex transfers straight to Delta. Uh, Chase transfers straight to United, to Southwest, which also gets you a, South, a companion pass. Um, different story, different uh, video, which we have inside the lounge. Um, it also transfers to Hyatt, which is the most valuable hotel points to have. Wow. All other hotels, penny per point, boring. Hyatt, three to five cents per point plus upgrade potential. We'll talk about that. Um, the preferred is also only a $95 annual fee. I used to recommend the, the, uh, the reserve, which was a $550 fee, but that only pays 60,000 points. And the perks that come in with, uh, that come in with the reserve don't outweigh that extra 20,000 points. So right now, as long as you can get those 80,000 points, sign up for the preferred. That would be our recommendation. And if you went and did research on the forums, you would probably see that as well. Um, you can always upgrade a year uh, down the road if you change your mind. So those are the two cards. Um, a lot of people I know will say, what about Capital One? Capital One is giving 100,000 points away right now. I would argue that for the beginner, that's nowhere near as valuable as 80,000 Chase Sapphire prefers. Um, if you're an advanced user, you can certainly argue with me about it. But if you're not an advanced user, I virtually guarantee you're not going to get the same value out of 100,000 Capital One points because they don't have any primary transfer partners. You can't transfer to United, can't transfer to Delta, can't transfer to to uh, Hyatt, can transfer to Southwest. None of those. You have to learn all sorts of other hoops to jump through to get the value. And all of their points are devalued anyway. So they're really only worth 50,000 to 66,000 points once mm. you get into the geeky math. So suffice it to say, I don't endorse Capital One as a first card to start with. It just won't get nearly the value that either the Sapphire or the Amex gets. Quick question. Um, uh, yeah, I've heard that $200 credit for airlines is hard to use. Have you used it uh, to uh, have used it to receive the credit? You've you've talked about that. That's, that's what you just said. Yeah. Yeah. The hardest part is that like, and that's that goes back to Chase is more user friendly. Mm -hmm. Chase gives you a $300 credit, and it's for anything. Like it's for taxi, it's for Uber, it's for uh, parking for, fees. Yeah. Um, or the obvious travel or uh, you know flights or hotels. Amex, uh, you have to register the airport or the, the airline. So 
yeah, you do have to jump. You have to like register the air airline that you're going to use. But we just got four hundred dollars back on our trip to Cancun last month. We flew outbound on United. Uh, we returned. There wasn't. Uh, we 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 preferred direct over the first class option that we had. So we just flew Southwest. Got two hundred bucks um, outbound and got two hundred bucks return instantly That's amazing. just by registering those airlines just and- before we booked. So right. I gotcha. So this is this is the question. So that is what I have is the Amex Delta Sky Miles Platinum. So it is different than the, just the Amex Platinum. So that's common question number two. What about mm-hmm. individual airline cards? And whoever that is, I feel you because that is me. So me too. I still mm-hmm. have I chase I call it chasing points. Mm-hmm. Um, no pun intended because mm-hmm. of chase, but um <laughs> people do it all the time. Oh, you know, United's giving a hundred thousand points away. That's great, but it doesn't have nearly the same flexibility as the points that are in uh, Chase's portal. It's called Ultimate Rewards or Amex's portal called Membership Rewards. I mean, you just go to Amex, you transfer the points to the airline of your choice, and that would be the airline that's giving the best deal. United, you're stuck with United. Delta Platinum, you're stuck with Delta. I've had 120,000 Delta points for four years now. Since I got into the point hacking game, I can't find a good value for them. Um, maybe, you know, I mean, if I lived in Salt Lake or Atlanta or Minneapolis, maybe, but in Denver, worthless to me. Someday I'll use them, but they're just what we call yard sale of points. So typically individual airline cards, you want to save for more advanced strategies. And those are when you're topping off points to complete a trip. Like you're intentionally signing up for a card to get points towards a future trip. We're actually doing a mini course inside Jigute Lounge right now designed around exactly that. So we teach you to get your foundation of points. You start with either of the cards we've been talking about and then more advanced strategies when you run out of those points or when you wanna use more points than what those are, you build on that. But it's an ad- those are advanced strategies. And we talked about that last week, correct? That's our bookshelf, right? Correct. The bookend bookshelf. So if you go back to uh, this time last week, right here on this page, you will see that as well. Terry, yes, there will be a replay uh, as well. So you'll be able to click as soon as we're done and get the rewind. Yeah. So uh, it, real quick on the bookshelf, the whole idea is, you know, you build your foundation, um, and that just protects you for your weddings, your funerals. Well, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's stick to the slides. Um, weddings, like, you have a slide for that. <laughs> so, and we did. We just had somebody that uh, had something urgent today, too, that that um, trying to figure out how to get home for their mom. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and it's these Murphy's Law says these are going to be expensive flights because you can't be flexible on where you're going. You can't be flexible on when you're going. The mm-hmm. airlines know it. And Murphy's Law says four out of five times you're going to pay through the nose. You have no choice. If you have points, you do have a choice because points are way easier to earn than dollars. So anytime you find yourself in that mind, you can dip into your stash of points and go for pennies on the dollar. Literally, I've gone to weddings for $11 when flights were four or $500. I've gone to funerals on less than 24 hours notice for 10 bucks when flights were 300 and we needed to fly our whole family out. Um, Having points is like having car insurance. Mm -hmm. Not having points is like not having car insurance. (laughs) And when you need to book that trip, it sucks and it's going to be expensive. Right. Um, So uh, it, this can, you know, you can fly a whole family to a wedding or funeral without spending anything other than taxes. If you did either of those sign up bonuses with Chase or Amex. And you recommend 75,000 miles per person in your family just to keep, is that correct? 50. Yeah. 50. And it okay. used to be 25, but I just, we just rounded up points are so easy to earn. It's like, let's just round that up to a and even 50,000 per person. It will pre- it will protect protect you from almost any domestic emergency no mm-hmm. matter what the prices are. Yeah. Um, and we teach when when you should and shouldn't redeem points. And that's how also how you stretch those points farther by not just wasting them when you're only getting 1.2 cents. You know, if if, if it's going to take 20,000 points and it's a $200 flight, you're only getting a penny per point. 
pay the cash. It's not that big a deal and save right. the points for when you can get 10 cents like this. This was, uh, it was actually 70,000 points. The, the, the cash cost of that flight, of that exact flight would have been $8,500. So 70,000 points for $8,500 is like a 12 cent valuation. So by having the discipline to save po points only for when we need them, we get to splurge and use them for lavish exotic things. Gil, who said hi earlier, is one of our graduates. He booked, his was a little more, took 130,000 points per ticket. He booked three tickets uh, and they booked uh, to Bangkok in business class round trip for $7,000 each. That was a $23,000 redemption. Um, that's a few sign up bonuses and a few earning multipliers under there. Of course, when I talk about getting as much as 25 cents per point, that this is an example, Michelle and I, we've we've done videos on this in the past, so we won't spend much time on it, but those are two private apartments on a commercial airline. Uh, the The individual cost of each of those flights was $12,000. We spent 53,000 points each. That's exactly what you get for just a base signup bonus. And they're giving away 80,000 points now. And, uh, and we flew there for 26 bucks. Um, so that could be in a best case scenario, two private suites that are worth 12 grand a piece. You use them for luxury hotels. We've, we've, we love swim out. I love swim out. I end up swimming to breakfast, uh, or to the bar. My mm -hmm. wife, like putting a nice friend. dress on and walks and brings a towel <laughs> for me, <laughs> but it's pretty fun. Yep. Um, These are uh, all good choices. This was another swim out. This has become a popular one because it's a Hyatt uh, all in resort, and several of our lounge members have gone there. Michelle and I went there in March, uh, early April. Where's um, this again, Joel? Is this Hawaii? This is Cancun. This is Cancun. Um, okay. So this is the Hyatt Zolara in Cancun. It's all okay. inclusive. Uh, prices: the base room is about four or five hundred bucks. Uh, the the lavish either top floor corner units or the swim out suites are six six seven hundred bucks mm -hmm. a night. Um, we went for nothing, nothing out of pocket, and a uh, hundred thousand points got us four nights. Um, we ended up dipping into other points to stay five, but yeah, didn't cost us a single penny. A um, couple of weeks later, Stanamira went there. She shared this in a, in the webinar. You can see that at uh, the, the link that's shown below. Um, you can see that interview, but she went a couple of weeks later, same concept. Um, she's now learned to earn points a lot faster. Um, in fact, and Gil said something really profound in his case study, which you can also see, is he's now learned that, yeah, he, he will never spend, spend if he's only going to get a penny per point. That's all. Right. That's all he does. And if you right. just aim for two cents a point, you're earning free trips twice as fast. Five cents a point, five times as fast. I'm going to throw this Not, out here real quick as well. I know in the, in the lounge, we have people that... Um, only use that for airlines and they're not using it for hotels, right? There's just a lot of different folks that, that are using their points in different ways. And I love that mm -hmm. because they all come up with, with really good information as well. Yeah. That's yeah. Great. And that's the, the beauty of having it. This is a system, you know, this is teaching you to fish, not handing you a fish on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. You get to apply this however you want. And one of our other graduates will mm -hmm. talk about doing exactly that. Um, so, the big thing is it's important to think this like sometimes it's it's i i feel like we get pigeonholed into oh well it's just about juggling a bunch of credit cards no it's not that at all it is about having a good organic balance between cash for when the deals are too good to waste points on mm -hmm. and having points for when the cash price is too expensive to use real cash on that's it yeah, and when you have that balance you have that choice if you take away the points Guess what? You have no choice. You have to pay whatever the price is or go Greyhound or not go Dear God. or be really grumpy about the price you have to pay. But if yes. you have points, it's like an insurance policy. 
And that's the two rules to the Jay Goot way. Let's chat about that real quick. Um, gosh, I don't, I'm hesitant to hit hide because I don't know if that'll hide I, me. Yeah, I think it might hide yeah. uh, that. So, so it's about having a system so you don't rely exclusively on points is what that says. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, two rules of Jay Goot. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's it. There you go. Rule number one, cash deals. Go where the bargains are. That was our Cancun trip when we found um, $306 flights in first class. We went to Chicago solely because we found $171 flights in life flat first class. Okay, let's go to Chicago. 171 bucks. That's like, I'm not even going to bother looking for the points cost because it will definitely be more than 17,000 points. Mm -hmm. um, and so rule one, rule two, that's it. Cash trips. Listen. Points trips. Know right. the difference. We talk about the math. I saw someone ask earlier, you know, is there a way to explore? We have a video in the village in the guide section called the $120 rule. It'll solve all your problems about knowing what's a good deal and won't and, and isn't. Watch that video. Um, we, that way we won't use our remaining 13 minutes talking about that. <laughs> um, but it's, it's really powerful because it gives you good perspective. No matter where you live in the world, no matter where you're going in the world, it gives you an easy, like, snap judgment on is that a good price should i use points should i not waste my points etc and that's one thing as being a lounge member which i am and actually i'm a i'm more of a i've, I've been around for a while on that list too of that if you're part of the lounge you get notifications every morning i get mm -hmm. my notification about 6 12 a.m of flights that are really really reasonable and that's how i booked cancun last week was because i you know i just saw like oh there's a really great deal and um so and you can also use that doing google flight alerts or kayak mm -hmm. or different alerts yep well, and that's, that's kind of what we do. We teach you like all the trips that we tell you about as a subscriber are deals that our analysts determined are better deals than using points. So even if you have a million points, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't waste mm -hmm. points on them. It's a better deal to just pay cash. So when you see a trip alert that we send, you don't even have to think like, Oh, should I use points? No. Most of our lounge members would just pay cash because they know the value of what those points can be. And they're not going to throw them away for a penny or a penny and a half a piece. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, it's just this organic balance between the two. And John is a great example. So John, avid traveler before Jay Goot, um, when he joined, I actually told him, I don't even know if you need it. I mean, you travel once a month, that's your priority. Uh, sounds like you're pretty savvy. Um, but you know, I, I definitely think that the upper end could help you, uh, you know, just fine tune a couple skills. And, uh, so he, they went from avid travelers once a month. I think they started traveling again in July of last year. Wow, and nice. um, mm -hmm. they live in Florida and they like beaches, so that's convenient. But um, in the end of March, he found, uh, well, so basically since the end of March, like last week of March, he's gone on four trips. So the first one, they found 150 bucks. Rule number one, look every day, don't waste your points went because I guarantee it would have been more than 15,000 points. That, that was probably going to be a 25 or 30,000 point trip at best. Don't waste points. Scheduled a trip around that deal. And then he used his points for this uh, mm. resort. This resort. This, yeah. I think it was an 1100 square foot suite. Um, that. The tub on the balcony alone, I, I can't even, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. And that one is a $2,100 value. Yep. Gotcha. Um, and so, and that's just the resort, but the flights, you know, that could easily be a three or $400 flight from anywhere in the States. Um, trip number two, this was like first week of April. They found flights under a hundred bucks to San Francisco. All right, we're going to wine country. Um, he then found uh, a place that was worth nine twenty a night. Used some points for that. Got eighteen hundred dollars worth of stay over two nights in wine country, um, and that was it. Yeah, Aaliyah, look it up. Those are the rooms that they stayed at. Uh, trip number three in the last like five weeks, six weeks, um, found one hundred twenty dollars flights to Colorado. Again, by looking every day, uh, and then used their status to get a $1,200 room upgrade for 169 bucks. Few different rules in play here, but the thing I'm demonstrating is that 
that balance between cash and coins. It doesn't have to be all about juggling tons of credit cards. It's about being efficient in what trips you take and what you pay for those trips. Um, and then this, this other one, rule number one, I mean, who cares what he paid for the place? Uh, he actually, I, I believe he, he stated at a friend's timeshare or a friend that had a pro property or something, but $63 flights. Okay, let's go. Rule number one. So all of those are examples of one of our members who uses both rules. He, he flies cheap flights and just gets himself there. And then he uses all his points for lavish uh, resorts. You can do the opposite. We just booked a flight this morning. We were we were going to go to Belize. We called an audible last minute, changed it to Costa Rica, um, taking my daughter and a friend uh, and my wife and I to Costa Rica in first class, entirely on points. Not dad and penny. husband points, dude. Serious <laughs> dad and husband points on that one for sure. Direct, hey, direct yeah, flight too. That's amazing. Yeah. The, the first class experience is just going to be nuts. So go ahead with the bottom line. I have one other question too. I know, I know right. I'm going to throw these numbers out five and is it five and 24? 524. Yep. 524. Chase 524 rule. We'll, we'll throw that into a wrap okay. up. Okay. Um, but both of these kind of, who cares about the 524 rule for the most part. So, but the bottom line is I did this for half a decade. So many people do this. Oh, I got to research this. No, you don't. You're going to end up with one of these two cards. And if you choose something else, ask any of our lounge members if they regretted going with one of those cards because uh, the 524 rule could come back and hurt you. Um, that's a, a rule exclusive to Chase and Chase is very picky about who they give credit cards to. And if you go mm -hmm. sign up for a bunch of willy nilly cards, Chase is gonna say, nah, stay with them. We don't want your money. Um, so uh, don't overthink this. These two cards are the best you've seen in the in, that we've seen in the industry. They are going to go away soon. Um, and you know, Chase, Chase Preferred is probably gonna drop back down to 50,000 points. The Amex Plat is probably going to drop down to 50 or 60,000 points base rate. But right now you can get anywhere between 60 and 125 based on whether you're targeted or not. Um, we talk about strategies on how to hedge those bets and increase those sign-up bonuses inside the lounge. Um, way too complicated a topic for right now, though. Not too complicated, but way too long a topic. Gotcha. Yay. Good job, Janelle. Nice. Nicely Can't done. wait to hear about what you do with the points. Yes, Just remember, absolutely. don't redeem them for less than a penny per point. So if you find a flight that's uh, $800, don't spend 80,000 points on that. That's a penny per point. Aim for like getting $1,500, $2,500, $5,000 in luxury travel from those points. That's kind of the key to success. It is. Check out this random question then. Had to come back early from a trip. The one way fare was 159 or 10,000 miles. I used miles. What should I have done? So that's a 1.6 cent redemption. Not bad. Mm -hmm. That's definitely better than average. Again, there are plenty of people who would unknowingly drop 100,000 points for an $800 iPad. That's 0.8 cents per point. So, um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a better than average uh, redemption. And sometimes, I mean, I've done it. Sometimes if I just don't feel like spending the cash, I'll do that. I'm not going to throw them away for a penny per point. Um, but 1.6 cents is, is definitely not bad. And the other thing we encourage you to do is like jump in, get yourself 80 or a couple hundred thousand points from one of those cards and practice with them. And just remember that penny per point rule. We actually dive into the penny per point rule we inside do. the lounge as well. We do. But just, just remember, don't, get less than a penny per point. And that's a good start. And then you eventually get better. Then you get two cents, then you get 20 cents. Um, then you get yourself in private suites for 25 cents. Oh, can you imagine? Brian says, holy crap, I just looked up my Chase Sapphire card and it's, I think you mean it's paying, <laughs> it's paying <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven points per dollar for Lyft rides. Yep. Wow, yeah. Earning multiplier. Earning, Earning multiplier. multiplier. You, begin, you begin to look for those and you do begin to get a little greedy of like, I don't, mm -hmm. want a, I don't want a penny per point. Um, you, it's, it is it is a mindset. Let me just say this real quick. We're getting ready to wrap up. So, uh, Brooke, if you want to throw me a number of comments, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and and pull a name or pull a comment 
for the travel gift card, right? Yes. Travel savings card, I need to say. Yes. So bottom line, though, if you have over 100,000 points but don't know how to get at least 5,000 in value, talk to us. Go to jgoot.com forward slash call. Operators are standing by. I love saying <laughs> <laughs> and all that is, and that'll help you decide too. So there, you know, there's a forum, there are some questions and you might see like, oh, well, that's a little, um, you know, a little more than I typically spend anyway. You can check that out and then decide if you want to call or we'll just send you to where you can find more information for free. Yes. But again, so mm -hmm. 100,000 points, that's not a huge, it's a pretty good redemption. That's like five cents per point. Mm. Um, but that's definitely better than a penny per point. Um, it it's 500% better than a penny per point. And again, those are minimums that that we kind of aim for. Um, but even if you, I mean, even if you don't have to spend uh, a couple or a few thousand dollars, it's it's better than dipping into your pocket when you weren't expecting to or didn't want to. Exactly. So. It's definitely a mindset. Okay. Well, we have the number generator for comments. Our winner today for the travel savings card, if you're ready, is comment number 123. Woo! So we will let you know who that is, by the way, with uh, with all of the comments. So we appreciate that. What was your one last point then, Joel? And we're going to we're gonna get well, out yeah, of here. Well, yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, there it uh, is. yeah. commenter 123, let yes. us know. Um, we will reach out to you and, and let us know your email address. We'll send that off to you. Um, yeah. I, I just can't stress it enough. There's, I mean, mm -hmm. other than getting a few referral points for our experts, there's not a whole lot in it for us other mm -hmm. than knowing that we helped more people avoid being caught in a bind. That's kind of the, the main um, the main point of today's topic is just yeah. try one, just go get one of those cards. Uh, if you, if you, sometimes you get denied, call, call and, and find out why Great they have point. to tell you by law. And often it will be, oh, well, we saw that you signed up for another credit card a month ago. So call back in seven days. There's, that is uh, such a valuable point. I don't think most yeah. of us realize that we deserve an answer on that. Honestly, yeah. we just sort of sit in shame of like, I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why you don't like me, but you don't like me. And that's that's a really, really great point too. Here's what I'm loving, by the way, about this group. If, if we have not gotten to your question, and there are a lot of them, we've got people that are answering all the questions here. So I'm totally totally digging that. Sherry, you are on it. Thank you so much. We yeah, appreciate thanks, you. you guys. It takes a village. Yeah. I see what you Do did. Do I overuse there. that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I see what you did there. All yeah. right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in today. We, again, um, we're going to have, there's all different types of videos. As Joel mentioned, we're going to have, there'll be links in here. But if you just want to know about the lounge, go to jgoot.com forward slash call. That's super fun. We're trying out a new link. And what do we have coming up this week? Uh, so we are, we're, we're, still in the beginning phases of bookshelf strategy uh yep. tomorrow andy and i are talking out planning out a private overwater bungalow entirely on points oh. um so these are those you Damn know myself. 600 to 1500 dollar a night overwater bungalows we call them sweet spots where you can mm. get those for a lot less than 1.2 million points wow <laughs> more like yeah. 30 to fifty thousand points um Isn't that crazy yeah so yeah, that'll be tomorrow's that. topic inside the lounge. And then we'll awesome. we'll be having an office hours. Usually that's where we kind of, everyone watches our Tuesday topic. And then we come back with questions where we just free form answer questions. So Gotcha, gotcha. Brooke yeah. is all over it and uh, ch answering everyone's, or at least going to get back to everyone. Cedric, it's good to see you. He said, I'm new here. I'm glad I found this group. Thanks. Uh, we love new Welcome, faces Cedric. in here too. Yes, thank you. Uh, real quick, Brian says, I just checked in low behold. I have a $300 travel credit. I didn't even know how do I redeem it? We'll get, uh, that is a question we're not going to be able to get to today, but I'm glad you at least check. So that's what it is too, is checking everything out. So y'all, we are out of here. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Happy have travels. a great week. Good info, Joel. We appreciate you. Okay. Take care, everyone. <laughs>